Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, happy holiday season to everyone who's celebrating uh, Christmas or any other type of holiday around this time. Um, I hope you're having a great time with your family, with your loved ones, friends. Um, yeah, so I decided that would be a nice thing to end the, this year with another video. And as you can see from the, the title, uh, it's about energy. Uh, what I want to what I've, um, emphasize, um, the, the aspects that I want to um, reveal, uh, explain today, uh, are, I think, helpful to understand why certain things look different and different um, levels of energy. Uh, because even for, for this level of energy, when I'm explaining things, there's a certain way, well, things um, appear in a certain way um, because this is the level of energy that um, allows me to do things in a certain way. Uh, so that can be understood. So going back to, let's say, the original point, well, energy is just pure potential, well, at its purest form. Uh, consciousness is just pure potential. The first differentiation, even this is a concept, differentiation, right? Uh, it's all about language, as I said. Uh, the first differentiation is the realm of ideas, of concepts. When that pure potential is put into, it, it starts to take form. It's the first, uh, first stage, so to speak, where a concept actually, or an idea, includes basically um, at the lower form, the experience. But this is where things are defined. This is where it's kind of like, how should I put this? Uh, it's just the frame. It's just the grid of, of things, but they contain absolutely everything. And this is where geometry starts um, to, to express itself through sound. Um, and there's a lower form, uh, there's a lower, and, and by, the, by the way, this is low and high. This is also um, a concept to understand something that is like something has less energy and more energy or it's more expanded, so to speak, um, because um, in the end, there's no low and there's no high in itself, so to speak. It's just another concept to actually uh, uh, that allows us to understand things is like um, to differentiate them, to put them Ah, This is from here. This is from there. And things look like this here and things will look different there. Um, so we have pure potential. The first differentiation is concepts and ideas. And then we go into the level of what I like to call the level of story. And because those concepts and ideas are used and expressed uh, for, for a better, um, not just learning experience, but yeah, a learning experience is like they, they are part of stories. They will express as stories. Uh, or what we call experience, because we will just like immerse into the experience to experience that idea and concept. And this happens um, at various degrees of energy. Um, at the base of every form, well, everything starts with like point zero. Uh, you might have heard and well, there's this, how should I say, design that you'll see in throughout uh, the world in different religions and spiritual traditions, uh, the spiral. And because everything um, starts from, well, point zero, and on the, as the, the energy is put in, as in like to create this continuum and to expand and to grow and to maintain it, um, this takes the, the shape of a spiral, which is not really correct, but in a sense, it's, it's a movement that is expressed as a spiral geometrically uh, upon which you will have the actual grid well the, the tree of life of well of every form uh, including us because even us uh, I mean the soul what we understand the soul is a construct so um, at the level of experience a lot of things can happen <laughs> uh, at the level of story I mean and um, because now the geometry has become even more refined, it has more layers, um, 
because now here it's already in the deeper levels of creation, so to speak, um, at the level of ideas and uh, concepts, this is basically at the level of radiation. It's just the sound and light, whatever. It's the radiation. And then these things start to have, um, well, form <laughs> uh, through these geometries that become more and more complex um, depending, well, in which realm <laughs> thing you are or express yourself. Um, also the level of energy that's available in that I'll say creation, so to speak. Uh, in, in our case, as I said many, many times, so this is a uh, time-space continuum that suffered a lot of loss throughout time, eons of time, uh, manipulations and all sorts of things. Um, and our ability to, to move through, to, through time, which what it means like to move in the future means that you have more energy available to you because what we do we we accrete energy and then we we expand that and then we enter another cycle of expansion so that feels like oh it's a different time but in actuality it's just more energy expressing at a particular time which means that more ideas more concepts more things become available it's a different type of awareness so it's all about at a different level, which is uh, another, I should say, level of that spiral, is basically more energy becomes available and changes the experience. And this is through the process of accreting that energy and growing it, ex expanding it. Uh, so, in our case, why, why people have been trapped, so to speak, in time or in this reality and um, couldn't perceive that there is something else outside of them or they needed, um, as I said, the spiritual, the divine else put outside of themselves. Well, that was also part of manipulation, but actually they came as a help. Uh, anyway, and um, these things were, as I said, concepts inside concept uh, to, to actually make you aware at a particular level of energy um, to, to basically to find your way home, as I, as I said uh, also in the previous video. Um, but uh, because um, this has been lost, I mean, energetically, there is not that awareness that even this is possible. Um, I'm going to give a little analogy um, to understand why certain things cannot be um, perceived. Uh, so let's say I have codes A, B, C, D. But to perceive from D, F, and further away, I need those codes. If I don't have them, I might get help to have the experience, to, under to see beyond from, let's say, well, help. <laughs> or, I, or I will have like, um, well, a special experience that makes me aware, oh, there is more, but I haven't really built that awareness inside of me in the sense that um, my spiral, my, my architecture hasn't built that energy, hasn't developed the architecture to sustain more of that awareness. Uh, so that's why those things are temporary and they're like, oh, that was nice and whatever and yeah. Um, and then people remain at the level, oh, I had this experience and <laughs> no, the idea is to free yourself and to not get stuck in time because the problem uh, here has been basically being stuck in time uh, and not having enough energy um, to move up and down the scale because there's nothing wrong of going like ascending or descending uh, to experience certain things at certain levels there's nothing wrong with that uh, but that ability has been limited and things have been blocked because of the, the loss of energy inside of uh, uh, of a certain creation, so to speak. Uh, and when you enter here, you do not have the awareness because there's not enough energy to, to, to be able to do that. You do not have, well, you do not have your memories of who you are, why you came here, what's the point or whatever. And as you grow, as you, it's, it's the same with like our bodies. Like, as you can see, you have a different body when you just are brought into this world reality and that that body grows expands and actually everything it uses the the spiral so and that's why at a, at a certain point uh, certain 
why the, the growth actually, when it's natural, it's exponential. It's not, um, how should I say, linear, it's like used with in increment as the let's say, fake spiral or the fake flower of life or whatever, because basically that's what you see most of it uh, out there. It's the fake flower of life and it's based on addition, it's not on multiplication, and so the real principle of life, it's made, uh, it, it's based upon multiplication because it's self-generating, it's not eating or adding something to it, it's just, it's able to, yes, uh, self-generate. So, yes, the biggest problem we had so far is being trapped in time, and that's why we felt separated, or like, there's nothing else, so, yeah, great. It's like, it's an entire, not just race, but it's like, we're all like, an, um, well, we lived in an amnesia type of situation and some of us have the ability through their codes to, to come here and, and bring, as I said, those codes that were missing and they were able to actually express them here because if, you, <laughs> uh, if you're not able, you won't uh, unless uh, you have help. Uh, so yes, that's why I've been so challenging. Also separation, it's also something that it's a little bit also misunderstood, also seen like sometimes like negative. There's nothing, oh, should I should put this, um, there's no such thing as good and bad in anything. It's all neutral uh, and it all has its, its uh, place at a, you know, in a special, uh, well, a specific context. So separation can be seen as something bad, but also necessary uh, in order for source to actually express itself um, in creation because it takes part of itself and that in itself may seem like a separation, although it's not. But it starts to have this abstraction type of like, um, it's a, yeah, it's a type of abstraction process uh, when we create ideas and concepts. So that's like the first separation, so to speak. But it's not really a separation, it's just putting together something so it takes form so then you can experience it. So separation in the sense it's not a bad thing, it's absolutely necessary. Otherwise they'll be just like th that, no form, it's like formless. So as great as formless it is, it is also great to see form and things that uh, what we experience as objects and things and us as well. <laughs> We're also part of that. Uh, as I said, soul is a construct. So yes, so that's been a major, a major problem, uh, which is starting to heal. Also, it affects, as I said, the ability to see certain things uh, at a certain level. Um, and it all has to do with language. I actually wrote a post. Uh, uh, by the way, there's a new blog post. Um, you can check it out. Uh, links below. Um, I think it was the previous one when I was talking about uh, words as living things. Uh, the capacity of the, your words becoming more alive is uh, when you express yourself, you allow source to, <laughs> to express itself. That's uh, the best I can describe it. And that in itself uh, gains power and um, it's magical. <laughs> um, what I wanted to say, there was another thing that I wanted to mention. Yeah, so the other thing that I w wanted to talk about um, is in regards to the split, what we understand the split, uh, what we see now happening as in like certain people going upwards or certain things going upwards and expand and go into the natural expansion cycle as they accrete uh, the, uh, well, the, the energy of source and manage to heal and uh, move further in, in their expansion. And other things are just go well, feels like going downwards and then implode. It's like expansion and implosion. Well, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, so that in itself, it's uh, what it's, it's a translation of energy of what, what it means to just like to experience growth, which is another concept. <laughs> you see, it's like you, we, we cannot escape, especially here in, in this, also polar polarity, by the way, this is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's a limitation. You can go only from left, well, 
from one end to, to the other, but behind it there's an essence, and when you get to that, that's the transcendence, so to speak, and you have more awareness of it, you realize that, um, and also this is not a bad thing, by the way, polarity is not a bad thing, but it, it's limited, you just, you can't, you can't go either this way or that way, and that's it. It's like another spectrum, oh, I can just go, well, move around it, but kind of that's it. But behind it, there's the essence uh, of it, which allows for more freedom. But then again, none of this is bad uh, or good. <laughs> it's just for the sake of experience, for the sake of learning and um, well, growing. Then again, also, it's not really true because um, there's no real evolution. There's the illusion of evolution inside creation. I know it's a little bit weird what I'm saying, but I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, it's just what we do. We just experience ideas. So we create the, the <laughs> um, evolution in the sense of expansion and awareness of a, of a concept and that exists because it needs to, well, as we do in create more energy and this becomes more. So that would be in the sense the evolution of things. But other than that, there's no real evolution of anything. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but that's how things are. I explained to you, it's like from a certain point, everything is just paradoxes, just paradoxes. Um, and so I was, um, I was saying that um, about the split. So what we experience as split, actually, it's a form of reintegration. Um, and I'm going to start with a little analogy. So when the body is weak, uh, you, you, you become flooded with, I mean, if the body is really weak, um, you start to have basically doors that allow for certain viruses, bacteria to settle in and create havoc and all sorts of things inside yourself. So this is basically descending in energy. It's like when you do not have enough and you're not protected and all sorts of things can manifest in that realm and can be created. As you grow in energy, like I would say we'd be in alkaline state, so to speak, or beyond that or whatever, um, those things feel like, oh, they disappeared. When in reality, they just have been restored to their essence, which is the truth. It's the undistorted truth. They have become something that was possible at a certain le level of energy. It's the same with certain situation that we see in our world happening. We say, why this is happening? This is horrible. Because it's possible. Because at this level of energy, of awareness, it's possible. Those things are possible. The moment you have a little more, there's like, oh, I, I don't have to do that. I don't have to think that. That's just stupid, you know? So it's the same with what, uh, what I was saying earlier. So um, the split actually in reality is a reintegration. We, we do not separate from anything. Those things are being reabsorbed. And a lot of these things, what to understand, entities and things and whatever nasty stuff are actually fragments, fallen fragments of consciousness, part of ourselves, especially when you have to deal with certain things, when you heal yourself and you deal with certain things like this, uh, well, you have to be aware that sometimes you're not doing just for yourself what you're doing for other collectives that have been, um, that, that have fallen. Um, so there's need for certain people to do this type of reintegration. It's not an easy job at all. Um, but this is what in reality is. And that's why it's a point, oh, it disappeared. There's nothing to bother me anymore. Yes, because those things have been accepted, have been acknowledged. You moved on. You've accreted enough energy to just like, for that experience to not be, well, possible, first of all, anymore. And that's why it's like it's a, at a certain level of energy, certain thing disappear. It's like, oh, it's nothing, because it's not possible anymore at that level of awareness. Yeah, I hope this made sense today. <laughs> um, wishing you um, a happy new year, um, 2000 and, um, what, 18? Sorry, <laughs> just forgetting what time it is, what time it is, um, yeah. So happy new year um, and wishing uh, everyone only, only the best. Um, yeah, see you next time. Ciao.